Hi, this is Amy, your SES librarian. This video will show you how to do a basic article search in a library database. We'll start at the library's homepage, which is library.uncg.edu. From here, I will click on Research Guides by Subject in the red search box. Then I'm going to find Specialized Education Services and click on it. This guide has resources specific to your discipline. On the right side of the page, you can see my contact information. You can click the blue button to make an appointment with me for a virtual research consultation, or you can use the chat service. If the box is purple, you'll be talking directly to me, but if it is yellow and says, I'm Minerva, you can chat with one of the other reference librarians. At the top of the page, there are tabs to take you to different resources. Today, we're going to focus on finding articles, so I'll click on that tab. Here you will see a list of the most relevant databases for you. Today we're going to use Education Source. If you're logging in from off campus, it will require you to log in with your UNCG username and password. Now we can do some searching. I'm going to start with a search for inclusion. As you can see, this is a very broad topic and I got over 40,000 results some of which don't look relevant to what I'm interested in. If I want to narrow it down, I can add a second search term, like preschool. The word and indicates to the database that you only want articles that contain your first search term and your second. That narrows it down to just under a thousand results. If one of my search terms has synonyms or related terms, I can add them on the same line with the search connector OR. If I add early childhood education, it will increase my number of results. Now I can narrow to a specific date range. or limit my search to scholarly articles. If I find an article that looks interesting, I can click on the title to read the abstract to learn a little bit more about the article. If I want to read the whole thing, I can click on the full text links on the left. Sometimes there won't be a full text link. That doesn't mean that we don't have access to the article. It just may mean that we have it in another database. If I click the link that says check for full text, it will check for all of the articles owned by UNCG libraries and give you a list of possible links. If you click on view full text, it should take you to the article. If you don't see a link that says view full text, it will give you an option to place an interlibrary loan request. If you have questions, you can use the chat function inside the database or contact me directly. Thanks for watching.